I had this kind of dilemma. My father was one of these people who was an artist on the weekend and said, and was an artist, but in fact said, don't go into art, you can't make any money. Now, if I am correct, your art has gone through a number of uh, really different <coughs> styles. I did uh, oh, about two series, 20 each, of New Mexico. I was really inspired by the light New Mexico and the buildings, the architecture. The buildings were usually abandoned. Okay. They usually had uh, black or empty windows, and there was kind of an edge to all of them, uh, kind of a dark edge or something um, a little bit off. My um, grandmother was born in Sweden, right. and um, she came from a family of, I'm not sure, seven or ten. I can't get the right number from anyone. And um, they were raised on a farm. Okay. And she came over about 1910. Mm -hmm. um, I think the largest immigration was around 1911, so she was right around that, that right. period. And um, she moved to the Alaskan Peninsula with her three brothers, uh, settled there until World War I, and then moved down to Seattle. And because of photographs at that time, people did not smile. They were just very stiff. The only way I could pick up anything about these relatives was by the way, maybe they, they tilted their head or the way they held their hands or um, the way they stood. So I took each photograph and I started painting um, one person or several. And I started, started with their outlines and uh, of the figure. and. Uh, as I painted, I would um, scrape away and uh, the, 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 the uh, paint if I didn't like it. And when I did these two, it led me into making the paper figures. Why did you become interested in paper for your own work? Well, when I started doing the Ancestor series, when I finished that, or while I was working on it actually, I'd go into the classroom and I was trying to solve some visual problems with the figure. When I'm uh, in the studio for too long, I think too much. And when I go into the classroom, I become, I pick up what the children are doing. I adjust whatever I'm doing in the studio to a child's level. So I thought that, um, I came up with the idea of doing paper dolls with the children and, and seeing what they did in the classroom. 